All right, what's up, YouTube? Um, today I thought I would just make a quick little video uh, showing you guys my top five Android Wear apps for any Android Wear smartwatch. So, to kick this list off, uh, we have a fairly simple app, but it's still very useful calculator for Android Wear. If you search the Play, Play Store for Wear Calc, you will, uh, this will be the first option that comes up, calculator for Android Wear. It's, you know, simple interface, comes in handy if you need to do some quick little equations on your wrist, but it also has the scientific panel over here to the side, parentheses, uh, exponents, sine, cosine, tangent, pi, all that nonsense. So, it's a great little app. Very intuitive, uh, very easy to use. The buttons could be a little bit bigger, but it's not a huge deal. You know what I mean? Nice little app. Definitely a must have. Uh, at number four uh, is a free app called My Roll Gallery. Uh, if you search for My Roll Gallery, uh, I'll put links in the description to all these apps, but if you uh, search for My Roll Gallery, it will be the first one that comes up. It will just be called Gallery in the Play Store, <clears throat> but it's it's a pretty nifty little app. Uh, it lets you view your gallery, anything you have downloaded, uh, pictures, everything right on your Android Wear device. So if I go in here to my wallpapers folder, you can see those are my wallpapers downloaded from the, uh, the Aura app. Shoutouts to Shout out to my man Travis Hall for that one. Here's some more walls. You know what I mean? Pretty cool app. Let you look at all your pictures. You can even view your photos. Uh, if you go, you can view all your camera photos right there on your wrist. Um, it's pretty sweet. Pretty cool little app. Uh, <clears throat> all right, number three. This one is called Task Manager for Android Wear. And this can really help you increase the battery life on your Android Wear smartwatch. So if you open up Task Manager, it will show you all the stuff that is currently running. And you can select any one of them. And it will ask you, do you want to close this process? You click yes, succeeded. Or you can tap down here to close all. And it will clear RAM and basically uh, only reload the bare essentials and we can really help you, you know, conserve some battery life. Uh, number two is going to be Google Hangouts. Now, um, Google Hangouts is great, but not necessarily to text people through Hangouts, but rather to select it as your default SMS app so that you can send SMS text messages right here through Hangout. And uh, to do that, let me just grab my phone right quick. Uh, to do that, you open up settings on your phone. Uh, on the Samsung phone, it is in more networks. And you can see default messaging app. Change that to Hangouts. And then you can use your voice to reply to text messages right over your smartwatch, over your Android Wear device. Definitely a huge plus in my book. I love Hangouts. I use it constantly and I recommend it. And a lot of the good SMS apps that are in the Play Store that work with Android Wear where you can do voice replies and stuff, they cost money. Hangouts is completely free. It's a Google product. Grab it now and then make your default SMS app Hangouts and then Prosper. It's great. Uh, last, or well, I shouldn't even say last, first on my list at number one is, uh, it's actually an app that lives pretty much entirely on your phone. It is called Watchmaker Premium, and it allows you to make ridiculously customized custom watch faces on your Wear device. So, let me open up 
watchmaker uh, where is it there's watchmaker premium first time you open it up because I just reinstalled it because I, I did a factory reset on my watch uh, yesterday so Zen watch 2 is what I have it's not listed here screen resolution is exactly the same as the Zen watch so you select the Zen watch select continue select continue so then you want to go onto your wear device long press the screen scroll over and select watchmaker premium I'll do another <clears throat> another um, video on my top five watch faces because I have quite a few watch faces installed alright so we select watchmaker premium it's going to change to the default just a basic clock I think I have some some watch faces still saved here on my phone let's see so if I go over to my watches no unfortunately I do not have any of my watch faces on here but um, basically if you go online you can find a ton of people that upload custom watch faces for watchmaker premium and then to to build your own watch uh, you just click uh, this does cost money by the way definitely get the premium version because the the number of things you can do with the premium version is so crazy so this up here is the new watch face come on create a new watch face god damn it there we go and then it just gives you a blank palette up here and you go into design watch and then I'm not gonna go over how to make a watch face just look online download some watch faces uh, you can add text, watch hands, friggin' animated GIFs, like, it's crazy, the amount of customization. And then when you get into, like, the, um, the, the advanced parameters of some of this stuff, it's just bananas what you can do. So, uh, that is it, guys. My top five apps for Android Wear devices, um... I'll make another video within the next couple days showing you guys my top five watch faces. I love, I, I have a couple watch faces that I'm just thrilled with. Um, this, there's one, it's real simple and I've been using it for a long time, the, the last couple weeks. This one right here, Time Circuit. God damn do I love that watch face. Real simple, but it's real, it's real nice, it's beautiful. Alright guys. That is it for today. Sworn Leader, signing out.